so hello everyone i hope you guys are doing well and uh, yeah so today we will be discussing the problems uh, design memory allocator and this problem is a part of the weekly contest problem uh, weekly contest 323 so if you haven't done these problems these problems are far more interesting so yeah so you should uh, like make sure that you should solve each of the problems that is uh, going to help you and boost your problem solving skills and also if you are having doubts in any of the videos you can check out the playlist that i have been uploaded over to my channel it will have all the four videos that will help you to understand the solutions okay so let's try to understand this problem so you are given a integer n that is going to represent the size of a zero indexed memory array and all memory units are initially free and you have a memory allocator also with the following functionalities uh, allocate a block of size consecutive free memory units note that it should be consecutive and we have to assign it the id that would be given to you called as mid and uh, second operation is free all memory units with a given id which is mid okay now note that multiple blocks can be allocated to the same id that would be given to you and we should free all the memory units with mid okay so what is our task is we have to implement these all functions first one is allocator constructor that will initialize an allocator object with a memory array of size n and we have a function that would accept two parameters size and id and what you have to do is we need to find the leftmost block of size consecutive free memory units and we have to allocate it with the given id okay and we have to return the blocks first index if if there doesn't exist such a block we need to return minus one and uh, secondly we have this function free function uh, which will accept the id and we have to free all the memory units with the given id okay and also we need to return the number of memory units that we have freed okay so let's understand this uh, problem with a uh, with simple uh, approaches that you need to have so uh, let's have a understanding of this problem in depth so what this problem suggests you to do is like you have a array uh, let's say array of size n that contains n memory units which are initially free are initially free okay because all the memory units are free and uh, you have two operations okay so one of the function is nothing but asking you to allocate and you have been given the size and you have been given the id okay so you need to allocate the size uh, let's say uh, you need to allocate the consecutive memory or let's say the size is 3 you need to allocate the size 3 uh, in the for the given free memories note that these all should be free like it should not allocate any id previously and let's say the size is 3 you can allocate any size uh, consecutive size which is equal to 3 which are also free you can do something like this also but you need to pick up the leftmost index uh, suppose uh, the uh, this one this one and this one and this one are all uh, occupied with some ids okay now you need to occupy uh, the given uh, memory uh, of id you need to occupy the given id let's say uh, the id is x okay and size is 3 so you need to find the leftmost index in the given uh, memory units which are free and has the consecutive size as 3 you can see these uh, three uh, free memory units have size 3 so you can allocate x over here okay and you need to return the you know you need to return the blocks first index okay so if you are at zero based indexing we have this one so you need to return 1 as your answer and like suppose uh, there might be the case like you are not going to find any consecutive free blocks of size 3 ok so in that case your answer would be minus 1 ok so that is the entire uh, concept for this allocate function ok so uh, let's try to understand uh, the free function and you have been given the int id okay so uh, like this uh, function like you have to do nothing you have this memory 
and let's say you have this uh, this one this one this one are filled okay filled with some ids so you have to find those uh, uh, memory units which has id uh, equal to the current id okay so let's say this is uh, cid which is current id so you have to find those ids find those id which is equal to which is equal to cid okay let's say this one and this one is equal to cid so this will be allocated like this will be freed and this will be also freed and uh, what you have to return is to number of memory that you are going to free okay note that this will be freed from now this will be freed from now like uh, then there will be no id which will be occupied over here okay so what will be the approach to solve this problem let's try to discuss that so the approach is nothing but a brute force approach that i would prefer you can also use the hash map and all to optimize that but i don't think it is much more uh, useful over here so let's talk about a brute force approach so what you have to do is you have to initialize an array of size n array of size n if you initialize an array of size n and let's fill it with value minus 1 a uh, minus 1 will denote it is free denote that it is free okay now when allocate function is called you need to find the leftmost index which has consecutive size of empty uh, memories okay so what you have to do you will just iterate in the array and find let's say you like you are iterating from over here and find the leftmost index after which you have key uh, sorry you have uh, size amount of consecutive free blocks free memories that you have if you are able to do that after just finding out this one you just try to fill it with the given id xxx or whatever the id that will be given to you okay this that will be the allocate function and similarly if you have a free function with a given id called cid then what you have to you have to just iterate in the array and if the id is equal to cid just count increment your answer by one and just free it uh, like you can free the memory by making array of i exactly equal to minus one just uh, uh, assign the value minus one it will just uh, denote that the current memory is going to be free so yeah so this is the brute force solution let's uh, try to look out for the coding part okay so you can see uh, we have initialized the array which is going to have the memory which is going to store the memory of uh, like n units so we will just uh, when the constructor is called we will just uh, assign uh, like fill up the array values with minus one which will denote the memory which are free and memory units are free now let's call out this allocate function okay so uh, what we are going to do is let we are trying to find out the leftmost index after which there are uh, you know size amount of consecutive free memories okay so we'll just iterate in the array and if array of i is minus one so the current memory is free so we'll just count increment our count by one so count will denote uh, okay so let me write down number of free memory units okay uh, free consecutive memory units that is important okay so if array of i is minus one we just increment count otherwise we will do count equal to zero note that this is important because uh, for consecutive part you just need to write down this condition and whenever we, if we hit count equal to size it means that we have this consecutive memory so you know we have to just fill it with the uh, id equal to minus one so we will just iterate into them and we will just assign array of j equal to mid okay and finally we need to return the leftmost index which is i minus size plus one and if everything uh, like we are just not going to have anything over here then we will just return minus one which will denote that we are not going to have any suitable leftmost index and then we will have this free function okay so we just have to iterate in this array which has the memory units and if x is equal to mid which means that we need to free it so we will initialize x with minus one and also we need to increment your answer by one because we need to return finally the number of memory units that we have freed 
okay so this is all about this solution you know the time complexity of the solution is uh, in the worst case it can go up to o of n square and uh, space complexity is going to be o of n because we are just using a space array of size n okay so let's check it out if uh, this is going to be good solution yeah so we have this accepted one so if you guys have any doubts you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and do not forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel okay so thank you for watching this video